Newspapers have not always covered African-American athletes in the same way that they do today. Just like society around them, they would often act in overtly racist ways towards African-American athletes. In this mini-documentary, I will compare and contrast how newspapers covered four prominent African-American athletes from the past and present. Jackie Robinson, Hank Aaron, LeBron James, and Colin Kaepernick. When Jackie Robinson was first scouted by teams and eventually signed by the Dodgers, newspapers like the Brooklyn Daily Eagle, St. Louis Dispatch, and Chicago Tribune would refer to him as a Negro or colored. They would even describe him as a Negro talent, as if it were some sort of carnival act. It is plainly obvious that the racial epithets and feelings that plagued society at the time found their way into newspapers that were meant to be impartial, like this 1945 headline from the Minneapolis Star. Newspapers seemed to have changed when they covered Hank Aaron's record-breaking home run in 1974. While Aaron did receive death threats from lone individuals because they did not want him to break a white man's record, publications did not act in this way. They simply reported the historic milestone that capped off a Hall of Fame career. This article from the St. Louis Dispatch even compares Aaron to Ruth, something that would have been out seen as outrageous just 30 years prior. Things have certainly changed in the way newspapers cover African-American athletes in the present day. Take, for example, this June 2017 article from the Los Angeles Times. It makes no reference to LeBron James' skin color, only the accolades he has achieved in his story career. Articles from the Chicago Tribune and St. Louis Dispatch do the same, focusing on the athletic performance of the player and not their race. For even more proof showing that newspapers, for the most part, have evolved to cover African-American athletes in a non-biased, fair manner, look no further than to how they cover the controversy surrounding Colin Kaepernick's choice to kneel during the National Anthem. Publications like the Chicago Tribune simply reported the facts of what Kaepernick was doing and his reasons for his actions, leaving all emotion out of the reporting. This 2016 St. Louis Dispatch article showed how athletes were willing to risk ridicule and racial threats for a cause they believed in, something Jackie Robinson would have undoubtedly related to. And this 2016 Los Angeles Times article provided a quote from then-President Obama supporting Kaepernick's First Amendment right to protest, a right that is a part of the foundation of this nation's freedom. <laughs> 